and posted it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they do that? Because people go out of their way to either troll or just, I don't know, man. Like, look, we're a bunch of nerds and gamers. We got a lot of weirdos it's, on Twitter, dude, too. But right now, we got game number one here in Losers Top 8. I was reading what he was writing. I was like, this dude's spitting. And I was like, oh, that's me. <laughs> oh, true? <laughs> Oh, dude, this Yo, you is... didn't realize that you hired yourself somebody to, like, sub out all of your stuff? Mm -hmm. Oh, I... Dude, that's such a good... A like, stenographer, like a personal stenographer. <laughs> Yo, man. I'm happy to see Grizzhawk back at it on the stream here. Cloud's gonna be... I mean, ZSS is so quick and has good range. I feel like Cloud, you know, more mm -hmm. or less has a little bit of that. I think we're gonna see more offstage play, too. If Grizz wasn't afraid to do it against ZSS, there's no reason to think he wouldn't do it against Cloud as well. Yeah, 100%. Like, if you're not instantly snapping that up B to the ledge, like, like you're just going to get completely covered. And something we didn't see that ever happened that I kept waiting for out of Grizz versus Webb is Grizz constantly kept setting up that uh, the cannon at the ledge because it covers so much. But it also baited people to roll a lot. And that forward smash covers roll and neutral getup in a very good position. So we might see that happen here, especially with a character that's pretty, like, normally wants to jump a lot from the ledge like Cloud. Limit at the ledge. Look at that. <laughs> Sneaking right by him. The old one, two. Buckle my shoe. Nice job by Grizzhog, man. It looked, for sure, I was like, Grizzhog is going to drop the stock. That's it. Grizzhog has dropped the mm -hmm. stock. Nope. Just sneaking by him. Looked like a little bit of, you know, didn't expect that in the matchup from uh, Cruxus, but either way, Grizzhawk with the lead, what does he do with it? Yeah, that's one of those things, like, it, it happened to me once, but will I get fooled by it again? It, like, you can see Cruxus is putting a lot of the right options in the right place, but they're usually just, like, just barely out of position because Grizzhawk just backs off, but gets the final hits of the cross slash. That's gonna close that out. Yeah, for sure, dude. So now we see, hold on. I was gonna say, more pressure here. Man, he hot back in the cart. I thought he was going to be kind of free-falling and, and be vulnerable there. But either way, doing a great job so far. Cruxus bringing this one back a little bit. Cloud, good damage output. A lot of regular cross slash. A lot of trying to go to the air against this grounded junior. Oh, forward smash? No way. Yeah, just uh, the, the, the confidence to go for that there, too. Like, obviously, a lot of times when you're buried up against the wall, everybody wants to just spot dodge because they expect to grab. Uh, and then also the spot that, oh my goodness, just chilling in place. That's not ever where you want to go directly above a cloud, whether it be an up smash or an up air. Either way, dude, look at him going right through that, armoring through the blade beam, but dude, blade beam is so weak. 6.6 .6, or is that because he, oh, because he hit the, because he hit the cart too, but it's still pretty mm -hmm. weak. Yeah, that, that's such an interesting like thing to have to... I mean, it's not something you normally consider in the matchup. Uh, and that, that, look, that down tilt actually has a decent amount of coverage. Uh, being able to catch people on that air dodge, it's a really good option. Yeah, did you see Mars's clip with it? Yes, that's actually what yeah. I was just thinking about <laughs> after I saw that. <laughs> so stupid. So active and a couple hits that are active. So yeah, it's really good. But either way, now we're seeing Cruxus play with the lead correctly. Running away a little bit. Oh, is that gonna? I, I was gonna say that might do it. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. That that rapid jab is so strong. Like it, you, you can just put out a jab one on shield and bait people to hold it because they're just so scared of getting KO'd. Uh, yep. and, but when you want to close it out, it's so much. I think it is almost factually the best rapid jab in the game. I think it might be right. Like I, I know that's like a tough thing to say because there's like different situations where thing you might value more than the other. But dude, yeah. it's so good. Yeah, because like when you, when you look at the categories of jabs, like you got the gentleman jabs. Like I think Corona Plant has one of the best gentleman jabs in the game. Uh, but when it's off a of frame two, about, frame two jab one. Yeah, like so it, good. And it just sets set up tech chases. But like, mm -hmm. and then you look at this here. It's like who else has that type of damage in that kill power? Well, uh, right now Grizz yeah, hanging around with death. Right now, you got to be very careful because Crux is just looking for that opportunity. Really's been able to shut this game down. Yeah, but one sixty. I was just saying, if, if, if Grizz makes it back from this, Max Rage on Bowser Jr., you put... Hold on. You gonna do it again? Yes, he did. I mean, that was the same trick, basically. It's worked twice so far. I don't think we're gonna see a third time, though. Cruxus has been great at adjusting so far today. But... Oh, that should be it. That should be it. Even though it hit... Oh, I was gonna say, he flew pretty slow, actually. That was close. Hitting the body of Bowser Jr.'s cart instead of the Bowser Jr. itself. Cloud yeah. barely closing that one out. Cruxus well played after dropping the first sock. Yeah, that's not about stress inducing when you like when you're forced into a situation where every trade and scramble with cloud is a really bad one that could like end up KOing you. It's so fast, it's so easy to just pull the trigger on one of those uh active side Bs. Like Cruxus was like oh, excuse me, Grizzhawk was playing really well at the start, but like Cruxus kind of understood as the match progressed, like, what if I just hold my ground? What if I just stay back? Because the more I approach you, the more I'm more likely 
to get caught by one of these big strings. So yeah. it's it's fine to hold your ground against a character who has that type of pressure game. Uh, and you know, I'm, I'm interested to see how the adjustment happens because we we saw how Webb was trying to go for that in the last game, and and Grizz adjusted around that. Uh, the way that Grizz is playing, yes. I'm very 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 interested to see the, uh, how they switch it up in game two. Yeah, for sure, dude. It's always the I think game two is. It's such an obviously it's always an important game whether it's a best mm. of five or if it's a best three and it's the first real chance we see at true adaptation and what a player is thinking about a matchup based on the stage that they play on and also and I, I wish we could see this a little bit more and this is across like all streams in general or like smash in general like mm -hmm. what stages are being banned because that really puts it in perspective like what each player is thinking about the matchup or what they mm. think about their opponent what their strengths are versus what their weaknesses are maybe yeah like what how did they how were they in terms of approaching me with a platform how were they in, pro, uh, in terms of approaching me uh when they were stuck in center stage with nothing above them and were they willing to reset full stage because they have a wider uh more room to work with you have to take all those factors into account when you get that counter pick in these matchups it's so much more than just oh you know it's cloud i could just gimp them no you got to look further into that and that, i agree i would like to yeah. see more of that and this i'm actually uh kind of surprised what's left on the table i know cloud does very well here in terms of being able to box out uh wider like like more mobile characters but it's still something where you're forced to now have to like deal with the coupling being active and the shot being active a lot more without an escape option yeah and the juggles are gonna be so good for bowser jr here actually take away the platforms and and they might end a little sooner this might be good for cloud because if he gets bowser jr in a juggle situation there aren't too many outs for bowser jr to go to so and i know cloud obviously crazy good at juggling the up air still very very strong He's a very quick character, so I don't know, man. This is definitely an interesting one. No jump here on the cloud. What's he going to do? Go right to the ledge. Okay, that works. Uh, I just always think that move is going to kill. Like like 80 center stage, I'm like, hmm, mm -hmm. this might do it. Honestly, it's I believe you. Like, I was sitting there waiting for it. And you see Grizz has been holding shield a lot more. Kind of like, I think the reason why we came here is uh, more defense. Like, you already see Gri yeah. Grizz is like kind of double jumping around and kind of empty hopping in place waiting for crutches to pull the trigger first because that's what happened last game every time grizz went and committed got a Dead. hard punish and that's the second time Dead. the bait on the ledge you gotta close that out i think that and the combination of cart and mecha koopa being so good at controlling fd because it's only one area you only have so many options when there aren't platforms to retreat to mm -hmm. when something's flying at you like that and you said the cannonball as well i, I think that also applies uh to a slightly lesser extent but Bow good bowser juniors know how to use that move even though it was widely yeah. considered one of the worst moves to ever exist yeah, I, I was watching a Japanese uh, Bowser Jr. recently who played the character in a way I never expected the character to be played in a super defensive manner. Uh, but, you know, you don't really play, need to play defense when your opponent just kind of finds himself directly seated under the stage. I mean, a two-stock deficit is going to be tough. I mean, game one was very close. So, I don't know, man. We might be we might be just be going to a game three. But Crux is putting up a fight here still. This is where I want to see Cloud shine is, is with those up airs and juggling Bowser Jr. But it's saw the late hit of that Nair actually saving Grizzhawk. Quite a bit of damage and getting him out of that bad situation. So, well done to him, man. He must have known that he doesn't really need to fear Cloud's advantage as much on FD. I was like, where'd he go? Oh, you know, <laughs> like, honestly? I literally lost sight of him. Yeah, I, re I respect the attempt because, like, tried to stall as much as possible. But pretty much from that point, you had to pull the trigger. Uh, and, like, yeah, uh, yeah I yeah. think we're going to be seeing Grixis going in a lot more here. Because you saw before on that last stock, Grizz just stood still. And the coupling went forward and back and baited multiple jumps out of Grixis because you just have to respect it. And, and honestly, I, I think you hit it nail on the head. Yeah, cover the jump. You go high for recovery, too. Unfortunately, missed. Hmm. Uh, but this is it's starting to look very rough in terms of seeing this be a 2-0. Limit though at the ledge? Oh. I was gonna say that was that was kinda close actually still though. Oh Alright, never mind, never mind, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut yeah, up real quick. I'm sorry. He heard us, dude. He knew. Yeah, they, Look at this. It was confirmed. They were paying attention. They definitely wrote uh female Robin in chat before, so they, they listen, man, I'm sorry. I mean I mean I mean it. But this is great. Like I am always love seeing things go down the last hit. Uh, it's on Grizz to not overcommit too much because even on last stock yeah. when you have them at KO percent, it's easy for a cloud to rack up big damage from people who push the initiative too hard. Ooh, looking for that down tilt. A couple of them there. Back throw. Get him back off stage. How's Cloud going to recover? Oh, he jumped early. Oh, and he air dodged early too, avoiding I, everything. Up there. I'm so surprised. Oh. 
I, I cannot believe that he was able to get through all of that. That was a great, great recovery. Still at 177. This is this is looking so scary right now. Oh, okay, okay. Oh man. Just a little cross up there in the neutral. Great back air there from Grizz taking down that game two. But man, you gotta give Cruxus a lot of credit there for making that one very competitive right at the end. Going to a game three, AJ. Yeah, and I'm not too surprised that the back air was the option here too, because the Koopaling went to the right hand side and Cruxus was currently stuck between the uh the you know the Koopaling and Grizz. So if you stay there, you're gonna be forced to hold shield. That sets up a free grab for Grizz. They set you off stage and then you're forced to get edge trapped. Or you jump and you get hit by a forward air, which most of the time is what they're trying to cover. Grizz saw through that, put out the back air in position in a, uh, you know, in a spot where either a roll might come in or a runaway, uh, and where most of the time people would have just stayed still. That, like, Grizz has really, really good option coverage. Like, I can't stress that enough. I'm so impressed by it. Yeah, I, I do. Dude, the counter pick really did work out. And even if at the end it was close, it worked out enough to give him a nice two stock lead to to kind of cradle and work with. And even though it, it kind of came down to, I don't want to say last but it came down to the last stock, uh, which is closer, I think, than Grizz would have liked to see. But he still made the counter pick work out for him. So I'm very curious to see where we go for this final and pivotal game three. Yeah, I think if we see another flat stage or something along the lines of that, we see the Robin come out. That's what I'm. That's my guess. Uh, if, we, if we if we see maybe a trip back to PS2, I, I would not switch off the the cloud just because it works so well for that stage and you have so much to work with. Um, you know, I'm sorry, I've been paying attention to Twitch that too much. Who, who are they saying you sound like? That YouTube video that, that Helvet linked. What I is this? I don't know, oh, dude. Oh, Helvet's in chat. Yeah, Helvet yeah, is yeah, the eternal mod of everything. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> I can't unhear that. <laughs> I need to give I need to give it another listen because I don't know oh if I hear God. it or not. Oh, the Robin! The Robin's coming out, man. All right, so if it's the Robin, and I think that we uh, that that we're definitely uh, running it over uh, to a flat stage. Like I, I don't think I don't think that we're seeing platforms possibly if if it was the switch over to this. Wait, you didn't realize there was a commentator. What did you think was happening? Anyway, game what? three. <laughs> <laughs> Big stage, town and shitty. Yo, mm. Yeah, facts. Has Robin versus Bowser Jr. I've never commentated a set for Robin versus Bowser Jr. Um, I think I've seen it once in Tri-State, and that's it. <laughs> and we, we, lo and behold, we're currently on Tri-State. Must have uh, been Jewel? The, uh, it was Jewel versus I can't remember who, because <laughs> it's very rare when you see the, uh, juniors. But this is just... I, you kind of look at it in the same aspect of how Robin would handle the the Sonic matchup. Like, it, obviously, different confirms yeah. different things because you have a you know you have projectiles in the way, but you're still trying to just use those lightnings, use those arc fires, force the jumps, and then cover with those really strong eleven hits uh, that can just force Grizz to stay grounded. This is something I love about Ultimate Meta, and something that I think is so important about playing more than one character at a high at your level mm -hmm. is being able to counterpick stages and play styles. I just think like a roster this big, it just naturally makes sense. Okay, good mm -hmm. follow ups there. A couple arc fires into the rising up air. Nice job, Levin Sword had one good swing left in it. So actually two technically, I guess he's getting one more on it here. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I agree. Oh my god, big damage forcing, uh, almost getting a follow up right there. I'm actually a big fan of how many more Robins we're starting to see too. Like I know not everybody likes finding the character, but I think the character has so many different unique traits uh, to them that haven't really fully been explored yet. But you just see like it's really had a big increase online and just th those hard hits against the weight against, uh, you know, the Koopaglings. It doesn't matter to wait so much because you're going to die so like around 90 to 100 where you wouldn't. Yeah, dude, that's right. And that's going to be a big thing because even if Robin has the bronze sword instead, Robin can just chill. Like, if, if Bowser Jr. wants to approach Robin, I'm sure that's cool and fine with Robin. Oh, what a scoop, by the way, on the other side of the hitbox. That was really mm -hmm. nice. I know. Can we see that big opening? You see Grizz was looking for, like, the air dodge down or something. Read the roll. Gets the object coverage at least on the up air. Not too much after that. But you see Grizz is, like, trying to find that big chance. Was not expecting the landing arc fire for sure. And that's going to close that sock out. We're here in game three. Both people trying to find their way to move on. Currently, Grizzhawk sitting on the last stock. This oh! 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 I, I did not scoop. expect yeah, that to pick what up the heck? That. And did, did dig in deep. Hasn't gone that low off stage yet. That was like a full set mix-up. I'm 
very, very impressed by just holding on to that for so long. But she can't, cannot find the ground right now. It's kind of the thing with Robin, like, she's so slow, but she's so good at, like, setting up a wall and projectiles from far away that it forces mm -hmm. you to approach. So forcing Grizzhawk to approach is really working out for Cruxus, but I'll be surprised if Grizzhawk starts to make a comeback, but he's got to make it through and get in on the Robin and deal the damage first, AJ. Yeah, and you're sitting there expecting, like, Nair out of shields, but then you get falling. <gasps> oh, there's that down tilt. Going low, trying to get some coverage, looking for this potential Nair to try and get a stage fight, but just going to miss. Oh, that's going to end up landing no directly way. in front. That's actually going to KO off the top. I don't know if they were trying to DI in or try and go in uh, in forward, but either way, still going to get the KO, and Crocs is going to take it. Who won over Grizz? That was, I did not see that KO.